It's Laura Eubanks and Bentley the Succulent Dog with your Succulent Tip of the Day. And Walkabout Wednesday in my SoCal Vista Garden. Ugh, have I got a tale to tell you guys. Okay, so um, I haven't been out here in like three weeks for more than a minute. I was, I had the well, I was sick. I had like a cold. Not, it wasn't COVID, but I, I felt like crap. And then we went to Chatsworth for a week and had a really great time and did a beautiful install up there. Then we came back to the grandkids. We watched our granddaughter for a couple of days while our kids took our grandson to Disneyland for his fifth birthday. And then yesterday it rained all day and here we are today so i'm gonna show you how gross my garden looks but i don't i'm it's i'll come out here and in a day i will have it dialed in but check just check out all my weeds in my little look at that look at the weeds in that oh my gosh so how i'm gonna get at these weeds uh is i'm gonna get a shovel or a hand trowel and i'm gonna lift up the cactus and pull those weeds out by the roots that way, which will well, disrupt the top dressing. Um, so I'll have to probably pop on some fresh top dressing, but no biggie, just lots of little weeds, right? But all my plants, despite the buckets and buckets and buckets of rain, so far, you know, the Xeriscape garden here looks good. I don't see any rotting. Some, I know some people's pea loaves have turned yellow. Uh, mine looks good, thank God. Um, the, my little Bracteatus petalanthus is pretty much completely devoid of leaf because it's been really cold and it's just so pissed. Okay, here are my collectible table. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about my white rhino. Ugh, I would have put that under, had I remembered, but it looks fine. It looks like we have some terminal growth right there in the middle. That makes me happy. I see random and rogue pine needles from the golf course trees. Get all those handled. But yeah, the uh, all the collectibles look very collectible, don't they? Look great. And then over here, you know, just, oh, it's amazing. All my fire glass and all my intricate rocks totally stayed in place. I don't know how, wind, rain, I mean, a little bit of flooding. It's, everything is held up so beautifully. This blue glow, she's coming out, guys. I'm over it. I have two in this bed and it's one too many. So I am going to put a mangave there instead. And I will be rehoming this beautiful girl to a garden coming to you soon. All right, let's see here. The uh, All of my milii look surprisingly good. And my mammillarias also look good. Of course, all the sedums, graptosedums, they all are thriving right now. This little aloe topaz cutting. You know, I'll be doggone if it isn't making it come back. I think it's gonna be okay. It just, it looked a little red, you know, rangy and look at all the dye back. But remember, we don't care about what's happening at the old leaves. We care about what's happening with the new growth. And the new growth looks solid. All right, moving on around. Just when I thought that I was done with limes, I wasn't. Look at all the limes all over the ground. Get back there and clean that mess up. I still even have a few on the tree. Amazing. Look at all those limes back there, you guys. Yeah, all this looks good. Good, good, good. Just lots of leaves, lots of detritus. Uh, same over here. Look at that. And this is, this is my mission to Mars that I wanna move over in the place of that blue glow. This is getting big already. I mean, it's really starting to crowd the driftwood. So that's the plan. 
And then my Harm CI Ruby slippers is so happy right here. Get after that one little weed. Yuck. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. Bentley's doing good. Yeah, he's a good boy. I know. Okay. Look at the little flowers. Aren't they sweet? And this ferox is also really starting to grow. Makes me very happy. Moving on. Oh, the sandbox is just a sea of leaves and pine needles. Um, but it's going to look great once I get in there and get that all raked up and cleaned up. We didn't have any problems with it overflowing or, you know, I mean, it's, it held, it held up really, really well. These cactus and euphorbia combo looking great. <laughs> Crap everywhere. Oh my gosh. I just, I can't, you know, once I get going, I can't stop. So I need a day. I need time. I mean, like to get up early in the morning and plan on staying at it all day. Um, I can't just come out here for an hour. It's just not how I, I just can't. I'll get something bad will happen, I guess. Uh, look at that. Okay. So here, you know, that crested piece that broke off that I just stuck in the ground right there of the Aeonium sunburst, this, um, the crest is still looking kind of, eh. I mean, it's hanging in there. It, it's okay. It's just not, it hasn't really changed much. Um, still just looks kind of rough, but yeah, look at all of these. My, my Echeveri blue atolls are gorgeous everywhere. My little Vera Higgins. Here's another Mangabe that's getting nice and big. And look at that giant milkweed right there. My little Crassula silver dollar is getting ready to bloom. That's a pretty one. And my Cynthia Giddy back there. And how about Aluatia Procera? Very, very eager for this thing to start throwing off something. I really do believe it's alive. But time, as always, will tell. Then my pot, my pot o sedums and Echeveria. Look at this mess. What a hot mess. Look at that. Good grief. Just run amok. Need to tighten that mess up. That Cynthia Gidea in the in the lime pot is still looking super duper. Oh, check this out, guys. This crest. Oh, no, my little fishy blew over. And I haven't hung out my seahorse yet. Check this out. This is becoming one of my new very favorite things in the garden. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at that crest. Isn't that magnificent? Ugh, it's so pretty. I've been enjoying watching this. It's just a ghosty crest. It's not fancy, but it's so pretty. Dang. Just gorgeous. Okay. Ugh, moving on. All right. Okay. Yeah, so crassulas hanging in. Everything got, you know, hammered with the hail too. Ugh. But the growth in this garden is just making me really happy. And once I get out here and get it all cleaned up, I was thinking about having a Team DFS work party where I have everybody come over and in a couple hours time, we could have this thing just all dialed right back on in. And then maybe I can feed them after. I think that would be very, very fun. Ugh, the snow leopard. Look at that hail damage. Look at that. Just, ugh. This thing also, it's getting really big. It's throwing off tons of pups. So I think what I'm going to do is just remove the pups from the mom and just let the mom be in this pot because it's, it's just looking a little crowded. And the Trigona doing her thing, looking good. No complaints there. Everything in this area looking really, really tight. I bought a Talavera fish at Planter Paradise. Ew, there's a, how oh, I am so offended. There's a snail on it. Look at that. Spawn of Satan. Ugh. Let me just throw that over there. Um, but I need to stake it because it keeps flowing over. But isn't it cute there? 
right? Super cute. Okay, yeah, looking in here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Red Ives are getting ready to bloom out. My Ramosissima is doing spectacular. This was a gift from Gordon, my worker Gordon, and it's so pretty. I'm so happy with that plant. And despite getting hammered with the hail, my Agave Attenuata Variegata continues to just throw off new leaves. Look at that. And you can almost not see the damage. Remember, she got beat up when we moved last August but she's thrown off a lot of new leaves since then and that's almost a thing of the past. Still don't see any pups. Oh gosh, I wish she would throw off some pups. But she is the prettiest variegate I've ever seen and I really, I don't, you know, if she blooms out, I'll be, that'll be it if I don't get some pups. Okay, moving on, moving on. Yeah, 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 oh, look at that. <laughs> Somebody's at half mast. Yeah, I need to dig this in. Sorry guys, I'm by myself. I need to dig this in a little better. It's just, yeah, I'll dig it, I'll, I'll dig it in um, as part of my maintenance. But right now that looks good, right? Okay, all of that looks tight, looks good. Messy, but good. Um, the Pacopodium Lemurii Crest has held on to most of its leaves despite the cold. I really think though that I'll probably lose the majority, if not all of them. See, look at that new growth. There's all those new leaves coming up in through there. Isn't that so cool? I could honestly spend probably an hour just grooming this plant. And once I get, you know, all the heavy lifting done, I'll be able to do that. And that's what I love about gardening is the freedom to come out and just spend an hour doing some silly little thing that only I appreciate. But meanwhile, look at this. <laughs> I've never, ever, ever had a garden look this bad in my life. This is so bad. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I know. That about sums it up, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Even... If Bentley were to pee out here, it'd probably improve things. Oh dear. Okay, moving on. Um, snowflake is, it looks amazing. My sea dragon looks amazing. This little variegated agave um, region A that I wasn't sure I was going to, you know, it just looks so bad. It's really starting to come out of it. And the Tomentosa loves it right here in this spot. Don't know why, but very happy with that. Then look at all of this mess. Look at all these leaves. And it's just clean dirt, guys. It's just dirt or leaves and crap. It's no big deal. We'll get it. We'll get her all dialed in. Um, the clam looks great. The coin plant is completely run amok. My Tonga ensis looks good. The Agavoides over here, look at that. Happy clams. They look great. My compacta, looking good. This trigona, not as good. Okay, yeah, I know you're probably looking at this going, what is happening? Okay, I left this. Yesterday in the storm with all the wind, we had a tragedy and I just left it so I could show you. Okay, so that umbrella fell over, took the table with it, and look what happened. Oh, this is so tragic. Okay. Look, the pot fell off and broke and my spiral cactus broke clean in two pieces. Look at this. How sad is that? Well, you know, you can look at it as, oh, what a tragedy, or you can look at it as, oh, you had one, now, girl, you have two. So, yeah, it sucks, but what can you do? It broke clean, and I'm going to try, obviously, to save it. Um, I'm going to reset the cutted part back in dirt, and the part here with the roots on it, we're just going to see what happens. I don't, you know, I think it could be super interesting. 
So I was sad. The pot is not important. It was just like a, I don't know, I got it at Ross or something. So not, not a big deal. Um, my favorite bed still looking amazing at some point I'm gonna have to get in here and redo it you know it's gonna get too thick and too full land of milk and honey problems huh but right now it's still just incredible um, the chair the succulent chair is beautiful look at that how gorgeous look at all the color so so happy with that yeah all right, and then over here, just, you know, more weed assortment. This, a little out of the way, this was a little concerning to me. Um, I thought that maybe this piece had rotted, but I don't think so. It looks very intact. I think it's just how it's growing. And then I have all of those new babies in there. So I will have to do some edits soon with, you know, all of the sedum everywhere that's just kind of overtaking my arrangements um covering up all my rock work so you know a lot of these ghosties will come out and get repurposed but you know for now we're okay you know like look how this looks great my placatillus it's got some blooms on it it looks good and these things at its base i've got a variegated aloe and this lamatillo one or the other, but not both. I'm going to have to make a decision there. Oh, it's a good problem to have. Yeah, and see, look at how all of these ghosties are starting to crowd the cactus and the other things around them. My blowfish. Love her. Yeah, and there's my sun glow. Yeah. My little uh, ruber tinctums look good. See, this is, this is why you need to think twice before applying black rock, because it shows everything. Look at that, like a black car, um, which is okay in a small space. I accept that, you know, and I normally, it's no big deal to keep things clean. Look at under my egg, my egg chair. Oranges rotting on the ground <laughs> and all of the leaves. Oh my gosh, yeah. And the head just completely out of control. I need to get after that again, too. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Let's look at Bikini Bottom here. See how SpongeBob held up. Oh dear. Okay. My gym, Gymnocalacium looks good. That's a very lovely giant weed right there. But other than just some detritus in the Creva, Bikini Bottom looks intact. This milli eye is starting to really come out of it. It was kind of dormant and sad, but it's looking lively. Oh, Bentley, I know. And my beautiful uh, Wickensii is done, so I need to get out here and cut those blooms off of it. Oh my gosh, look at this weed. Look at that. Whoa! Dang, that thing is massive. Unreal, but look at look at the look at the little fire glass in the in the in this uh, pot rock. Every every piece of fire glass in place. Amazing. And then these aloes are getting ready to bloom. Pretty pretty. All right. So yeah, it's sad and gross and messy and awful. But oh, look at all of this back here. Just just so you can see. I can see past it, and I know that with a little you know elbow grease. We'll set it all to rights and it'll be better because it's growing. Oh, look at the Fred Ives crest. Look at that. Beautiful color. Amazing. And there's just so many things out here that are still so beautiful despite the neglect. The Athona capensis is throwing off its pretty little yellow flowers. My thimble cactus does not look happy there. It got way too wet, but it's okay. I mean, it's all right. I can reset those pieces and that'll be, that'll be fine. Okay, dig a deeper hole for that euphorbia. So yeah, right? Ugh. This pilo, you know, it's maintained 
this big piece is still blue, but the smaller piece is starting to turn yellow. And it, you know, it got that wound when we moved. And I don't know, guys. I may, I may uh, take the smaller piece off. I'm not loving the way that looks, because the tall single, she's pretty. She's pretty good. And then the lemon. Well, over here, let's just look. Ursula's looking good. All of these plants are thriving in here. That Millie Eye has been putting on a show from August. This pot is a mess. You can't even see the pot, can you? Oh yeah, and then there's this mangabe that's throwing off a bloom. Ugh. Ugh, okay. Yeah, this is a mess. Oh, look at that weed. Huge. And then the lemon. The never-ending lemon battle. Okay, so I have some gross, ugly yellow leaves, but I have a ton, ton of buds. Look at that. And little tiny fruit sets. So all in all, I, I had just recently fertilized this. Um, so it's, yeah, I mean, just kind of in a holding pattern right now. Uh, but I have, some, yeah, it's doing what it does. I mean, it's leafing, it's budding, it's setting. The, the fruit that's on it is ripening. So I'm feeling pretty, pretty good about the old lemon tree. Um, you can still see the espoma there. I mean, I really gave it a good dose. And the rain has just been slowly soaking that in. The grapefruit. Let's see here. Oh, guys, look. Eureka. That's oh, a lemon, but no, this is Nora Blanco. But look, buds. Yes. Buds. Look at those. Yes. Yes, I will have, because this is the best grapefruits in the world. But this poor tree took such a beating when we moved. I'm so glad I didn't throw it away. It's coming back. And look at this gorgeous creature that I just bought. Where did I buy that? Home Depot? Some, or no, I think I got that at Oasis. Isn't that stunning? And I don't remember what it's called. I left the tag on the pot so that I could identify it. Um, but it gone with the wind. Oh wait, no, here it is. Look. Found it. Okay. It is Stenoceras pru pruinosis. This guy. I got it because of the gorgeous purple color. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bentley, you've had enough to drink. We're going to sign off. Uh, I will be in Rancho Santa Fe on Saturday installing an epic barrel colony with Hannah and Mel and our client's uh, uh, gardening crew. And pretty dark next week. I don't have a whole lot going on. Hannah's got a project, though. And then the following week, my birthday week, Greg and I's mutual birthdays and wedding anniversary is on April 5th. And we break ground in Escondido. Um, and a really exciting project. So, everybody take care. Hang in there. Oh my gosh, hang in there. This is all okay. It's all okay. We lose some things. It's okay. Other things fill in to take their place. So, have fun. Keep the faith. Get out in, in your garden when you can. Thank you so much for watching and following. I love you all so much. I think of you every day. This has been Laura Eubanks and Bentley with Walkabout Wednesday and my hot, hot mess. Bye, guys.